Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so in the design pattern series, we discussed about the singleton design pattern using uh, four different techniques, lazy initialization, eager initialization, synchronized way of uh, uh, creating the singleton design pattern and then we discussed about double check techniques. Okay, so in this particular lecture, what is the agenda? So uh, uh, people, those who are working in automation, they are aware like uh, we need a single object or single instance of web driver throughout the execution when we talk about sequential execution okay so we are considering about the sequential execution as of now we will be talking about the parallel execution in the upcoming sessions okay so we need a single object of web driver so if uh, we can recall uh, earlier or in the traditional way what we used to do we used to create a static instance of web driver which we were using throughout the <laughs> different classes so that we can get the same reference so uh, static is a keyword responsible for giving the static data or common data across all the classes okay so uh, there is a singleton design pattern which is which also does the same kind of functionality right so uh, singleton is used to uh, get the single instance of a class right so this is how we can get the single instance of web driver as well so without further delay let me jump onto the code and uh, show you how we can implement the singleton design pattern for the driver okay web driver i mean right so first of all what i have done i have created one create driver class where i have implemented the singleton design pattern in case you want to take a look on how to implement the singleton design pattern you can go back to my design pattern series i'll be sharing that into the description and putting that into the i icon right so now the next step is once we have got the single object of it now what i want is i want to set the driver so first of all first and foremost step is i am going to create the web driver reference variable okay so step by step let us understand it now the next step is once we due to this get instance method i got the object of it uh, right uh, using class dot get instance method as this is a uh, singleton design pattern right so the next step is once we got the object we can now access its method right public uh, for example public void set driver right wherein uh, what i need to pass string browser i'll be telling you like what is the purpose of providing browser here and now i'm going to use switch case so because we will have multiple cases today it is for example um, today it is chrome for example i'm going to implement but tomorrow it could be firefox as well so we are going to talk about uh, from that perspective so uh, for example first case is chrome wherein i'm passing uh, what I'm doing, I'm simply typing in web driver manager. I'm using web driver manager, right? To download the Chrome dependency, right? Most of the people should be aware of it. At high level, I can tell you, it will download the uh, latest uh, driver executable or driver dependency uh, corresponding to the browser installed into the system, okay? Now, the next step is because we have initialized, uh, we have defined the reference variable. Now we are going to assign the Chrome driver, right? so uh, we have now set up the chrome driver right but uh, apart from it i am going to type in a default uh, mm, default case as well wherein i'll just uh, throw uh, no uh, like throw new illegal argument exception right in case people are not aware on what are exceptions i'll be covering uh, that in the upcoming sessions so i'll say invalid browser right so if uh, for example we pass any other browser name apart from Chrome, then we will the control will come in the default case and we will get invalid browser so that user will be alerted that he need to provide the correct uh, browser okay so the, using this we can set the driver and how now how to get this driver so the next step is uh, we need to use uh, a get driver method right i'll be using these methods right in the main method okay or in any class uh, when we will be talking about from the selenium perspective or from the page object model but now in this case we are, i'm going to use it in the main class okay so what i'm going to do here return driver okay so in this case what i have done i have set the driver based on the browser and here i'm returning it so i'm formatting the code now i'm going back to the main class right so here in what i have done i am uh, defining browser is equal to chrome and uh, then what i'm doing using this create driver dot get instance what i'm doing i am getting the single instance right which is nothing but singleton design pattern and then I'm, after i'm setting the driver right so this way it will set only the single object because we got the single object and we are setting the single uh, driver right uh, for chrome 
so if you notice i am again uh, writing the same way right create instance dot get driver right uh, create instance uh, create driver dot get instance and using get driver what i am doing i am now getting the driver so this particular line what it will do it will initialize the driver and subsequent create uh, driver dot get instance dot get driver will get you the driver okay so what i am doing i am first launching the source lab demo uh, uh, dot com then after what i am doing i am maximizing this window so uh, to show you what i'm going to do as yours uh, let me give uh, some delay and uh, add the exceptions as well right i'm adding the thread dot sleep in all three cases so that you will get more understanding right so we are getting the same instance uh, right we are getting the first instance first time uh, first driver i mean and we are then launching this right people are aware on this like how to launch then i'm delaying it so that you will be able to see it so if it is the same driver then the same window should get maximized right because as i mentioned that we are going to get the single object of the driver so the window should be maximized again i am providing thread dot slip for 5 seconds now the next step is what i am doing i am again getting the same driver and in the same browser what should happen google.com should be launched okay so uh, i am just running it okay meanwhile like it is uh, running i'll request you to please uh, like share and subscribe because it will work as a motivation for me and uh, i'll be able to make more such videos so if you notice it has launched the chrome browser with source uh, demo right now it will maximize it and in the same browser it will add the google.com as well right so that is it uh, on the how to create a web driver instance single instance throughout the, uh, for the whole execution using the singleton design pattern this is how we can achieve the uh, like single instance using the singleton design pattern for the create driver similarly we can do it for the configuration dot properties and uh, for the database as well so thank you for watching uh, stay tuned uh, stay tuned for uh, more such updates thank you for